In mathematics, a set is a collection of distinct objects, considered as an object in its own right. For example, the numbers 2, 4, and 6 are distinct objects when considered separately, but when they are considered collectively they form a single set of size 3, written 2, 4, 6. The concept of a set is one of the most fundamental in mathematics. Developed at the end of the 19th century, set theory is now a ubiquitous part of mathematics, and can be used as a foundation from which nearly all of mathematics can be derived. In mathematics education, elementary topics from set theory such as Venn diagrams are taught at a young age, while more advanced concepts are taught as part of a university degree. The German word Mensch, rendered as «set» in English, was coined by Bernard Balzano in his work The Paradoxes of the Infinite. Topic. Definition A set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects. The objects that make up a set also known as the set's elements or members can be anything, numbers, people, letters of the alphabet, other sets, and so on. Georg Cantor, one of the founders of set theory, gave the following definition of a set at the beginning of his Beatrice zur Begründung der Transfiniten Mengenlehr. A set is a gathering together into a whole of definite, distinct objects of our perception or of our thought—which are called elements of the set. Sets are conventionally denoted with capital letters. Sets A and B are equal if and only if they have precisely the same elements. For technical reasons, Cantor's definition turned out to be inadequate. Today, in contexts where more rigor is required, one can use axiomatic set theory, in which the notion of a set is taken as a primitive notion and the properties of sets are defined by a collection of axioms. The most basic properties are that a set can have elements, and that two sets are equal one and the same if and only if every element of each set is an element of the other, this property is called the extensionality of sets. <laughs> Describing sets There are two ways of describing, or specifying the members of, a set. One way is by intentional definition, using a rule or semantic description A is the set whose members are the first four positive integers. B is the set of colors of the French flag. The second way is by extension, that is, listing each member of the set. An extensional definition is denoted by enclosing the list of members in curly brackets C equals 4, 2, 1, 3 D Blue, white, red, one often has the choice of specifying a set either intentionally or extensionally. In the examples above, for instance, A C and B equals D In an extensional definition, a set member can be listed two or more times, for example, 11, 6, 6. However, per extensionality, two definitions of sets which differ only in that one of the definitions lists members multiple times to find the same set. Hence, the set 11, 6, 6 is identical to the set 11, 6. Moreover, the order in which the elements of a set are listed is irrelevant unlike for a sequence or tuple. We can illustrate these two important points with an example 6, 11 11, 6 11, 6, 6, 11, for sets with many elements, the enumeration of members can be abbreviated. For instance, the set of the first thousand positive integers may be specified extensionally as 1, 2, 3 1000, where the ellipsis indicates that the list continues in the obvious way. The notation with braces may also be used in an intentional specification of a set. In this usage, the braces have the meaning, the set of all. So, E equals playing card suits is the set whose four members are spade suit, diamond suit, heart, and club suit. A more general form of this is set builder notation, through which, for instance, the set F of the 20 smallest integers that are four less than perfect square can be denoted f equals n2 minus 4, n is an integer, and 0 n19, in this notation, the colon, quote colon quote, means, such that, and the description can be interpreted as, f is the set of all numbers of the form n2 minus 4, such that n is a whole number in the range from 0 to 19 inclusive. Sometimes the vertical bar, 
quote pipe quote is used instead of the colon topic membership If B is a set and X is one of the objects of B, this is denoted X element of B, and is read as, X belongs to B, or, X is an element of B. If Y is not a member of B, then this is written as YB, and is read as, Y does not belong to B. For example, with respect to the sets A, 1, 2, 3, 4, B. Blue, white, red, and f equals n two minus four n is an integer, and zero n nineteen defined above. Four element of a and twelve element of f, but nine f and green b. Topic. Subsets. If every member of set A is also a member of set B, then A is said to be a subset of B. Written AB, also pronounced A, is contained in B. Equivalently, we can write BA, read as B as a superset of A, B includes A, or B contains A. The relationship between sets established by is called inclusion or containment. If A is a subset of, but not equal to, B, then A is called a proper subset of B, written AB A is a proper subset of B, or BA B is a proper superset of A. The expressions AB and BA are used differently by different authors. Some authors use them to mean the same as AB, respectively BA, whereas others use them to mean the same as AB, respectively BA. Examples: The set of all men is a proper subset of the set of all people. 1 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4. The empty set is a subset of every set and every set is a subset of itself. A A A every set is a subset of the universal set A U an obvious but useful identity, which can often be used to show that two seemingly different sets are equal A equals B if and only if A B and B A A partition of a set S is a set of nonempty subsets of S such that every element X in S is in exactly one of these subsets. <laughs> Power sets The power set of a set S is the set of all subsets of S. The power set contains S itself and the empty set because these are both subsets of S. For example, the power set of the set 1, 2, 3 is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. The power set of a set S is usually written as phosphorus monosulfide. The power set of a finite set with n elements has two n elements. For example, the set 1, 2, 3 contains 3 elements, and the power set shown above contains 23 equals 8 elements. The power set of an infinite either countable or uncountable set is always uncountable. Moreover, the power set of a set is always strictly bigger than the original set in the sense that there is no way to pair every element of S with exactly one element of phosphorus monosulfide, there is never an onto map or surjection from S onto phosphorus monosulfide. Every partition of a set S is a subset of the power set of S. Topic: <inaudible> Cardinality. The cardinality S of a set S is the number of members of S. For example, if B. Topic: <inaudible> Blue, white, red, then B. 3. There is a unique set with no members, called the empty set or the null set, which is denoted by the symbol other notations are used, see empty set. The cardinality of the empty set is zero. For example, the set of all three-sided squares has zero members and thus is the empty set. Though it may seem trivial, the empty set, like the number zero, is important in mathematics. Indeed, the existence of this set is one of the fundamental concepts of axiomatic set theory. Some sets have infinite cardinality. The set n of natural numbers, for instance, is infinite. Some infinite cardinalities are greater than others. For instance, the set of real numbers has greater cardinality than the set of natural numbers. However, it can be shown that the cardinality of which is to say, the number of points on a straight line is the same as the cardinality of any segment of that line, of the entire plane, and indeed of any finite dimensional Euclidean space. 
Topic: <laughs> Special sets. There are some sets or kinds of sets that hold great mathematical importance and are referred to with such regularity that they have acquired special names and notational conventions to identify them. One of these is the empty set, denoted or a set with exactly one element, x, is a unit set, or singleton, x. Many of these sets are represented using blackboard bold or bold typeface. Special sets of numbers include p or, denoting the set of all primes, p equals 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, n or n, n Denoting the set of all natural numbers, n equals 0, 1, 2, 3. Sometimes defined excluding 0, z or z. Display style z. Denoting the set of all integers, whether positive, negative, or 0, z equals minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Q or denoting the set of all rational numbers that is the set of all proper and improper fractions Q equals a b a b element of z b does not equal 0 for example one quarter element of Q and 11 sixths element of Q all integers are in this set since every integer a can be expressed as the fraction of 1 z q r or r display style math bb r denoting the set of all real numbers this set includes all rational numbers, together with all irrational numbers that is, algebraic numbers that cannot be rewritten as fractions such as square root 2, as well as transcendental numbers such as pi, e. c or, denoting the set of all complex numbers, c equals a plus by, a, b element of r. For example, 1 plus 2i element of c h or, denoting the set of all quaternions, h equals a plus by plus c j plus d k, a, b, c, d element of r. For example, 1 plus i plus 2 j minus k element of h positive and negative sets are denoted by a superscript, or plus. For example, plus represents the set of positive rational numbers. Each of the above sets of numbers has an infinite number of elements, and each can be considered to be a proper subset of the sets listed below it. The primes are used less frequently than the others outside of number theory and related fields. Basic operations There are several fundamental operations for constructing new sets from given sets. Unions Two sets can be «added» together. The union of A and B, denoted by AB, is the set of all things that are members of either A or B. Examples 1, 2, 1, 2 equals 1, 2. 1, 2, 2, 3 equals 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Some basic properties of unions A B equals B A. A B C equals A B C. A, a B A, a equals A A U equals U A equals A A B if and only if A B equals B Topic Intersections A new set can also be constructed by determining which members two sets have in common the intersection of A and B, denoted by AB, is the set of all things that are members of both A and B if AB equals, then A and B are said to be disjoint. Examples 1, 2, 1, 2 equals 1, 2. 1, 2, 2, 3 equals 2. Some basic properties of intersections A B equals B A. A B C equals A B C. A B A. A A equals A. A U equals A A equals A B if and only if A B equals A Topic Complements Two sets can also be subtracted the relative complement of B and A, also called the set theoretic difference of A and B, denoted by A B or A minus B, is the set of all elements that are members of A but not members of B. Note that it is valid to subtract 
Members of a set that are not in the set, such as removing the element green from the set 1, 2, 3, doing so has no effect. In certain settings all sets under discussion are considered to be subsets of a given universal set U. In such cases, U a is called the absolute complement or simply complement of A, and is denoted by A. A equals U a examples 1, 2, 1, 2 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3 equals 2, 4. If U is the set of integers, E is the set of even integers, and O is the set of odd integers, then U e Topic E O some basic properties of complements A B does not equal B A for A does not equal B A, a equals U A, a equals A equals A A equals A equals A A A equals A U equals A A Topic An A A A U Topic and U A B equals A B If A B then A B equals an extension of the complement is the symmetric difference, defined for sets A, B as O Delta B equals a B B a display style a delta B equals a set minus B cup B set minus a. For example, the symmetric difference of seven eight nine ten and nine ten eleven twelve is the set seven eight eleven twelve. The power set of any set becomes a Boolean ring with symmetric difference as the addition of the ring with the empty set as neutral element and intersection as the multiplication of the ring. Topic: <coughs> Cartesian product. A new set can be constructed by associating every element of one set with every element of another set. The Cartesian product of two sets A and B, denoted by A times B is the set of all ordered pairs A, B, such that A is a member of A and B is a member of B Examples 1, 2 times red, white, green equals 1, red, 1, white, 1, green, 2, red, 2, white, 2, green 1, 2 times 1, 2 equals 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2 a B C times D E F equals A D A E A F B D B E B F C D C E C F some basic properties of Cartesian products A times equals A times B C equals A times B A times C a B times C equals A times C B times C. Let A and B be finite sets. Then the cardinality of the Cartesian product is the product of the cardinalities. A times B. Topic B times A. A times B. Topic Applications. Set theory is seen as the foundation from which virtually all of mathematics can be derived. For example, structures in abstract algebra, such as groups, fields and rings, are sets closed under one or more operations. One of the main applications of naive set theory is constructing relations. A relation from a domain A to a codomain B is a subset of the Cartesian product A times B. Given this concept, we are quick to see that the set F of all ordered pairs x, x2, where x is real, is quite familiar. It has a domain set R and a codomain set that is also R, because the set of all squares is subset of the set of all real numbers. If placed in functional notation, this relation becomes F x equals x2. The reason these two are equivalent is for any given value, y that the function is defined for, its corresponding ordered pair, y, y2 is a member of the set f Axiomatic set theory 
Although initially naive set theory, which defines a set merely as any well-defined collection, was well accepted, it soon ran into several obstacles. It was found that this definition spawned several paradoxes, most notably Russell's paradox. It shows that the set of all sets that do not contain themselves, i.e. the set X, X is a set and X, X does not exist. Cantor's paradox. It shows that the set of all sets cannot exist. The reason is that the phrase well defined is not very well defined. It was important to free set theory of these paradoxes because nearly all of mathematics was being redefined in terms of set theory. In an attempt to avoid these paradoxes, set theory was axiomatized based on first order logic, and thus axiomatic set theory was born. For most purposes, however, naive set theory is still useful. Topic. Principle of inclusion and exclusion The inclusion-exclusion principle is a counting technique that can be used to count the number of elements in a union of two sets, if the size of each set and the size of their intersection are known. It can be expressed symbolically as a b equals a plus b minus B display style a cup B equals a plus B a cap B. A more general form of the principle can be used to find the cardinality of any finite union of sets. A one, a two, a three, a n equals a one plus a two. Plus a three plus a n minus a one a two plus a one a three plus a n minus one a n Plus plus minus one n minus one a one a two a three a n display style begin aligned left a underscore one cup a underscore two cup a underscore three cup l dots cup a underscore n right equals and left left a underscore one right plus left a underscore two right plus left a underscore three right plus l dots left a underscore n right right and left left a underscore one cap a underscore two right plus left a underscore one cap a underscore three right plus L dots left a underscore N one cap A underscore N right right and plus L dots and plus left minus one right carrot N one left left a underscore one cap A underscore two cap A underscore three cap L dots cap A underscore N right right end aligned topic de Morgan's laws Augustus de Morgan stated two laws about sets if a and b are any two sets then a b equals a b the complement of a union b equals the complement of a intersected with the complement of b a b equals a b the complement of a intersected with b is equal to the complement of a union to the complement of b topic c also topic notes topic references dobbin joseph w georg cantor his mathematics and philosophy of the infinite boston harvard university press 1979 isbn 9780691020 2447-9. Halmos, Paul R., Naive Set Theory, Princeton, N.J., Van Nostrand ISBN 0-387-90092-6. Stoll, Robert R., Set Theory and Logic, Mineola, N.Y., Dover Publications ISBN 0-486-63829-4. Vellman, Daniel, How to Prove It, A Structured Approach, Cambridge University Press 2006, ISBN 978-0-521-67599-4